film damage can result from poorly repaired film, from faulty equipment, and from careless handling. This is the result. Often the best method for repairing the film is to cut out the damaged section and splice the film back together. There are many kinds of splices. All of them will hold the film together, temporarily at least, but few of them are designed to allow the film to be projected again. In this film, we will show you how to make a splice such as this one, which will allow the film to be projected again. First of all, it will help you to know the principle behind the splicing technique. Motion picture film is composed of three general parts. The emulsion, which contains the photographic image, the acetate base, which supports the emulsion, and a binder, which holds these two parts together. In the splicing process, the emulsion and the binder are removed first, and cement is applied to this scraped area. The two pieces of film to be spliced are then overlapped at this point, forming a strong, permanent splice. The equipment needed for splicing includes a splicer, a scraper, a piece of felt, a small amount of water, a brush, a clean cloth, and some fresh film cement. The film must be spliced with the emulsion side of the film facing upwards. The emulsion side can be determined either by inspection or by feeling the film. Close inspection will show that the emulsion side has a dull luster, while the base is much more glossy. Feeling the film, you will find that the base side feels smoother or more slick than does the emulsion side. To splice, position one piece of film, emulsion side up, on the pins of the right side of the splicer. If the perforations are on one side only, notice on which side of the film they appear. Close the top part of the splicer to hold the film down. At least one fourth inch of film should protrude. Next, cut the film off by bringing the bottom part of the left side of the splicer down into position. Raise the entire right assembly. On the left side of the splicer, position the other piece of film, emulsion side up, and bring the top section down into place. Here too, some film should extend from the splicer. The perforations should be on the same side as those on the other piece of film. Bring the right side of the splicer down until it cuts the end of the film squarely, then return it to its former position. To soften the emulsion, moisten the film on the left side with a wet piece of felt. Some splicers do not require this moistening. Next, using either a metal scraper or an emery board, carefully scrape the emulsion off of the moistened film. Brush the loose pieces of emulsion from the scraped area. Apply the cement to the film, being careful not to use too much, and immediately bring the right side down into a locked position, overlapping the two pieces of film. After 10 to 15 seconds, the cement should dry. Release the top sections of the splicer and wipe off the excess cement. The result is a strong, accurately made film splice. Let's make one more splice to make sure you have the process well in mind. Film in the right side, emulsion up. Cut the film. Film in the left side, emulsion up. And again, cut the film. Moisten. 
scrape, brush, apply the cement and overlap the film. The useful life of a motion picture can often be greatly extended by correct splicing repair.